All right, so here's an outside view, walk around of the ambulance. 1996 Ford. Got the uh, van style front end on it. I think they call that the Type 3. Got the additions to the top of the grill for the sirens. Those probably are not going to be operational for anything that we're doing. As you can see, it's painted black, but not very well. We're going to clean that up a little bit. We'll get to the cab part in a little bit. But let's take a look at the, the ambulance part of it. Got a bunch of cabinets on it. We'll start a, in this cabinet right here. Got a refla rechargeable flashlight. Old diamond plate. Used to be some oxygen tanks mounted in there. Those are going to come out. Got a light in there. I got everything turned off so the light's not on right now. But it works. And down here at the bottom, we have this tray. Which holds two batteries. There's no battery in the front of the truck. This is where all the batteries live. Two standard uh, car batteries, but they're a little bit heavier amps, about 800 amps each. We got the, uh, the main door to the ambulance. There we go, it kind of sticks. We'll do a walk around in there in a minute. We got uh, another cabinet back here. Okay, we got two two doors that open up. Plenty of room for all your accessories you want to take with you on the trip. And every one of the cabinets on the uh, outside, they they lock. They all have lights. There we go. Walk around the back here a little bit. We got two double doors. Like I said, we'll do a walkthrough on the inside here in a minute. Walk around this side. Got a couple more cabinets. We got a pretty decent sized one here on the back. Two more towards the front. This one right here. We got some nice shelving built into it. Those shelves are hard mounted, but we can take those out and adjust them. Plenty of space for whatever you want to take with you. This is a nice little addition right here. This drawer slides on out that'll make a nice little place to put all the, the tools and quick things you need on the side of the road we've got the uh, large cabinet over here it's one of my favorite ones you could uh, put your propane tank put your gray water in there put a hot water heater in there you can turn it into a small bedroom if you wanted to nice and spacious the red bracket's probably going to be taken out. I'm not sure yet. Then you have this tall stand-up cabinet. A lot of the newer ambulances will have your electronics panels in here, but this one does not. It's used to put the backboards, and I think the uh, one of the other oxygen tank was mounted in here. I've got some wiring we're still trying to figure out. Got a little pass-through into the cabin. That's kind of cool. So you can uh, hand stuff back and forth. Pretty handy when you're working on stuff you can have, have tools handed to you right through here apparently they uh, used to put a trash bin right in here when the emts were working on just the trash out here but okay yeah technical details got all the stickers and weights and all that we'll go into that later if anybody cares but for right now i'm not going to worry about it and then like i said we're back to the front standard van style front end Lots of mirrors. Got to adjust those a little bit. So you got heavy duty front axle. It's got dualies on the rear. It's hard to tell. One of the things I found out the other day, it actually has disc brakes on the rear of it. I was expecting drums, but it's got disc brakes. And it's got these automatic uh, snow chain things. So it's got a pneumatic tank. They're pneumatically actuated, throws the chain down in front of the tire, and that way you don't have to actually wrap the tires with chains. Not sure if that system works yet. We haven't tested it. We're going to later. Um, all kinds of other fun stuff under there, but we'll get to that later. All right, I'm going to close this video out, and I'll uh, create another one with a uh, walk through the inside.